Hey guys, AV with you here, and today we're making healthy hamburgers. So, time to go to the shops and film episode two of the grocery shopping for meal prep. Let's go. Right, so I got my shopping bags. Make sure you bring shopping bags, save plastic and stuff. Shopping at Coles, I know a lot of you said, like, why are you shopping at Coles? You should be at the markets, but. Uh, Coles is my closest grocery store and markets only open on Sundays where I live so you know it's now Wednesday I've got to film a video. First thing to worry about when you're looking at burgers is the buns so I'm gonna go check out, check out the buns. Alright everybody? Yeah I'm good. Right. So you're taking photos of the, the store that's always. Oh now I'm just vlogging. Yeah so most of the time when you get burger buns they're gonna be full of like wheat flour they're gonna be full of salt, they're gonna be full of emulsifiers and things like that. So, we're actually gonna get uh, mushrooms. Some nice portobello mushrooms. So, I'm looking at mushrooms here. The portobello mushrooms are $13, and then the a kilo, and the flat mushrooms are $11 a kilo. Obviously, I'm in Australia, so the price is gonna be different where you are in America or wherever you are across the world. So, just look and see what the prices are per kilo or per pound and um, buy accordingly. So what I'm gonna do is actually I think I'll throw up a comparison between mushrooms uh, mushrooms and the buns, like see what the comparison will be. So throw it up on the screen now. Wouldn't be a burger without some lettuce. I'm looking at a few different here. I have iceberg, cos, you know, other things. Get whatever lettuce you like. Okay, now tomatoes. 6.90, one's 9.90. So I'm gonna get the ones that are 6.90, just out of, it's cheaper. Red onions are a buck 90 as opposed to them 250. So we'll get a nice red onion. So I'm getting through my list. Who likes my list? Pink post-it notes. Beautiful. I would have bought kangaroo for this recipe, but we're actually all out of kangaroo. And guys, a lot of you get confused while we eat kangaroo. Kangaroo is a sustainable meat, meaning that it's not farm, it's all wild caught. So rather than like farming animals and growing them up just to get on your grocery shelves, uh, caught in the wild because kangaroos are considered a pest in Australia. More kangaroos than there are people. So, so I guess like I'm gonna have to check, do a second option, and uh, look and see what else I can get besides kangaroo. Of course, you can get beef or pork or turkey. Even I'm finding it very interesting here in Oz, a lot of the labels are saying no added hormones and things like that. So of course, if you are eating um, animal products, you want to stay away from added hormones. Okay, so we ended up going with a blend of pork and beef. It's also on quick sale, which is great. Uh, as you can see, it says like no added hormones, preservative free. Hey guys, so now we talk about cheese. So when it comes to cheese, there are a lot of different options and most people, obviously, when they buy cheese, get shredded options, but for a burger, obviously, you want sliced. So, you don't want to get the Kraft single slice cheese, like that is just not even, guys, that's not even real cheese. I'm looking at it now. It's full of emulsifiers and preservatives and colors. I'll throw up something on the screen. But I mean, guys, you don't want, it's just like, not worth it. Hey, you want to get, you want to get real sliced, you want to get block cheese. When you get, blo when you get a block of cheese, one is generally cheaper than buying a sliced cheese. And there's no preservatives and additives in it. It's just going to have milk solids, which is basically what cheese is, um, and enzymes to make the, to make the cheese, you know, become cheap. You have no obligation to use cheese if you don't want to have cheese on your burger. But for guys, you guys that want to have cheese on your burger, get a block of cheese and slice it. You can save money and you can save on the preservatives and additives. And the last thing and most important thing when it comes to a burger is the sauce. Now, everyone, all you guys back in America, you guys, it's uh, basically a staple to be an American is you get the Heinz ketchup. Now, here in Australia, I'm gonna put up two slides, two things on the screen. In America, look, check out the ingredients. First thing you're gonna see, one of the first things you're gonna see is high fructose corn syrup. Uh, and look at the same brand in Australia, there is no high fructose corn syrup in it. So high fructose corn syrup is banned in Europe. Uh, it's kind of frowned upon here in Australia. It's not banned, but it's frowned upon. And, but in America, it's just no holds barred. You guys, companies have a total right to put it in all their products and probably one of the worst things for you and it's probably the number one cause of diabetes because it messes up your insulin messes up your, your body's natural response to process glucose in australia we call it tomato sauce you guys call it ketchup you want to look at things that have reduced salt and reduced sugar so for example just looked at this product right in front of me master foods uh, it does have sugar and it does have salt but it says it's reduced from its it has reduced from its other brands uh, or you can make it at home yourself so I mean we have a recipe and we don't realize how much sugar 
is actually in Heinz ketchup. The other condiment you want for the recipe is mustard, and mustard is generally good, no matter what brand it is. Just want to look out for, um, again, the ingredients. The mustard shouldn't have sugar in it, and it shouldn't have oil. It should just be literally ground mustard seeds. That's about it, guys, for shopping tour. Just got home, but I'd show you the boys. I haven't tried the boys for a while. Side of YouTube, Willie. Oh, hey Charlie. You gonna sit? No, you're gonna play with the ball. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this video. This is how you get the autofocus correctly. <laughs> Alright guys, so now I'm home and what I'm gonna do for you guys is show you guys how to do cost per serving. So you guys can figure out how much it actually costs you per serve or per meal when you are meal prepping or when you're making a meal in general. So I'm gonna run through my receipt. Well, we're gonna start with the pork. I wanna use six portions for my Meal prep, I'm gonna do six meal prep. So it cost me $8.80 total. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide it by six equals $1.46. So each patty is gonna cost me $1.46. That's how much one portion costs. With the portobello mushrooms. Oh my, what a focus. Back into focus. We'll, we'll do that halfway at $12 a kilo, which means that it'll be $2.40 per portion for the mushrooms and the boys are here. Now that's gonna be $2.40 plus $1.40, what are we at? $3.80 per portion. And so I might, put up, might throw up a comparison now between what it would cost you to get one bun as opposed to one mushroom. Even though the bun, you could probably buy dirt cheap for cents, but it's not that nutritious for you. It's absolutely empty calories and it's not worth it. That's how you calculate it out. And then you can go for the rest of them. So for the tomatoes, it's going to be a couple of cents. And then the red onion will be a couple of cents. And so will the lettuce. That's basically how you can map out cost per serve. And so it'll be interesting. I want to know from you guys. Leave comment below how much these food items are where you're from. So if you're in, I don't know, Wisconsin, what's it like? What are tomatoes worth right now? Or how much is beef? in, I don't know, Puerto Rico. Let me know in the comments below how much things are where you are. We can kind of collaborate on how much the cost per serve would be in certain countries. So that's it guys. The next video you're gonna see from us is gonna be this video. It's gonna be the healthy hamburger video. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it into a hamburger and I'm gonna show you a way just to deconstruct it and make it into a meal prep. Make sure you guys like this video if you enjoy the grocery haul slash education about shopping at the grocery. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and we will catch you next time. Namaste.